29th in Hollywood. Passes on sale now at tcm.com slash festival. Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM, where we're celebrating the career of Debbie Reynolds, who will be honored Sunday night by the Screen Actors Guild with a Life Achievement Award. You can see the broadcast on our sister networks, TNT and TBS. No salute to Debbie Reynolds will be complete without our next film, the role that put her full range of talents on display for the whole world to see. She sings, she dances, she acts, she's physical, she's funny, and it all added up to an Oscar nomination for Best Actress, the only one of her career. From 1964, it's the unsinkable Molly Brown. It's a fairly well fictionalized account of the life of Margaret Brown, who rose from poverty to wealth, but never really earned acceptance in her new upper class world. She became known as the unsinkable Molly Brown after she survived her trip aboard the Titanic. Brown's story was turned into a hit Broadway musical. Then, when MGM announced it would be bringing the musical to the screen, Debbie Reynolds went after the role with everything she had. She was certain she was right for the part, but MGM had other plans. The studio wanted Shirley MacLaine, but MacLaine had an ironclad contract with producer Hal Wallace, a contract prohibiting her from making Molly Brown. So Debbie Reynolds stepped into the role she felt she was born to play. And when Molly Brown hit theaters, Reynolds won rave reviews from critics and earned that Oscar nomination from 1964. Here she is, our star of the day, along with Harv Presnell, reprising his role from the Broadway show on screen. It's the unsinkable Molly Brown. 